Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cherry Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Wo Long Fallen Dynasty is having screen flickering issue and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. So the first one is all about we have to uh, enable vSync in the control panel. For that we just have to right click and go to show more option here. Go to NVIDIA control panel from the desktop. Once you move to this, we'll be getting an op option page like this. From here first navigate to manage 3D setting, click on this one. Now from here go to program setting. So over here we need to add the game. So as you can see the Destiny 2 is already added. Simultaneously we have to add the Wo Long File and Dynasty. For adding just click add option here. Now from here we need to add the game. So first thing is we need to check whether the game is already added or it is in the desktop. So over here you can see Hogwarts Legacy. Simultaneously you have to scroll down Sunso Forest Kerbal Space Program 2. Uh, whether you need to check whether the game is already there. So if it is not there we don't have to worry we can browse it. So just click on add browse. Now when you click on this you need to navigate to the game installation folder. So here we have to open local disk C. Now scroll down and navigate to program file x86. Scroll down and navigate to steam folder. Now from here go to steam apps. Now go to common. Now from here go to wo long file and dynasty. Select this one and go for open. So here the game is added. As you can see if I click on this one. So right now the game is added. Okay. Once the game is added, you just have to go over here in the specific setting for this program. Under this scroll down and navigate to vertical sync. Okay, you have to navigate to uh, vertical sync. So just keep scrolling down. So here you can see the vertical sync. Just select this one. And now by default, this will be used global setting. Change this to on. You have to turn on vertical sync. Then just go for apply. And once it is done, just go back and try to play the game. And this is what we have to do. So let's move to the game and try to play. Next one is all about we have to update GPU. For that reason, we have to go over here in the device manager. Go to device manager over here. Go to display adapters. Select the respective one. Right click and go for update driver. Click on search automatically drivers and update the driver. And that is going to work for you as well. Try playing the game. If this is not working, we have to move to next one. That is all about we have to close unnecessary tasks which is running in the background. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search. Right click and go to task manager. And as you can see, there are many things which is running in the background over here. But apart from that, there are 94 apps which is draining out my performance. So I have to delete it. So for that, I just have to select this one. Go for end task one by one. We have to end it one by one. Once you simultaneously have to check whether MSI Afterburner is there, Viva Tuner, etc. They all drain out performance. So delete it one by one. For those overclocking applications should be only deleted, not any other. So just delete it. Well, I mean delete means end the task and once it is done, just close everything, go back and try to play the game. Next one is we need to update the game. For updating the game, make sure you just have to go over here in the game. Right click and go to properties. Go to updates. Over here under automatic update. Always keep this game updated. Select this one. If it is in any other option, change this to this one. That means game will be up to date even the net uh, internet is turned on in the background. Even if you don't play the game, it will be up to date. So you have to set this out. Next one is all about we have to up, uh, verify integrity of game file. For that, we need to select the game. Right click and go to properties. Go to local file. Click on verify integrity of game file. Then uh, it will be fixing the issue like if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing. All these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So you can try this out and that is going to work for you as well. Last is all about we have to update windows. Go to search. Go to settings. Go to windows update at the bottom. Download and install the latest version of windows. And if you're having any update, just update the windows. And once it is done, just close everything. Go back to the Steam. Try to play the game. And these are the possible workarounds that you have to try or when you're having screen flickering issue. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.